Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're not joining Rooster Teeth. No, but everybody else is. Everybody else is. So this is really interesting. I, I have the news pulled up here because most of the Rooster Teeth news in the last couple of weeks, months, years, has been uh, negative. This How dare you? How dare you speak the truth? <laughs> this Just two days ago, uh, Ryan Haywood's coming up again. This this company is not in terribly good shape Wait, right now. Wait, there's more allegations against him? Apparently. I'm not, okay. Uh, they're, they're talking about him being predatory and all that. It's a mess. This, this video isn't about that. No. Uh, this video is about the fact that Rooster Teeth now is teaming up with a bunch of other content creators mm -hmm. and what appears from the outside to be sort of a, a Hail Mary pass. It looks like desperation. I'm just gonna cut to the chase. It looks... Yeah. It's very... It's other people they're picking, it's like, why? Yeah, because I'm gonna pull up some... Women? Of, well, I'm gonna pull up some of the numbers too. The numbers aren't fantastic, and this kind of reminds me of... And this isn't really to throw shade at, uh, at Keen Spot, but back in the day we had a webcomic that was on Keen Spot, and Keen Spot at one point was this huge deal. Mm -hmm. It was a massive deal. Like it was like the webtoon of the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. And then people started to leave, and it just sort of started to decline. They really weren't keeping the website up. And then they were trying very hard to get you know bigger you know comics to come to the platform to try to replenish the numbers. And with all the people leaving Rooster Teeth, with all the controversy, with the dip in their own numbers, this looks to me like they're attempting to replenish. Uh, their numbers, but they're not really picking big name well, YouTubers. Some of the, it, it's, okay, some of the things they're picking is going to, it's like, this is not going to go the way you think it's going to go. Anyway, yeah. so of course, of course, we have to go get Grace Randolph. We talked about that the other day. I still don't understand the logic behind this one, but this explains why all of a sudden she's, you know, going pandering on, on, uh, Twitter like crazy. Yeah, she, and we mentioned this briefly in a Chris Pratt video that for some reason, I don't know why she's out there saying that Chris Pratt absolutely has to make a statement. He has to tell people right. what his politics well, even are. Even if he, if he, if he's going to come out and say he's Republican, it doesn't matter. He just needs to make a statement. No, he doesn't. He doesn't make any statement, but she also made waves keep going down. The other day when she basically was upset because they cast Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence for the upcoming film, Don't Look Up, because they're white. And her quote was, look, if you don't see the issue of two white blonde actors playing the two leads in a movie where they where they play two modern scientists, meaning you really could cast anyone, then what the hell have we been doing this past few months? Well, here we have a question. Why the hell when Rooster Teeth could cast anybody they wanted to or bring anybody they wanted to over that's a female, why did it have to be a white woman? Oh, that's a good question. Um, yeah, she seemed like she on Twitter was going getting a lot more, I guess, woke. And it does seem that this Rooster Teeth deal might have been in the works. Because Rooster Teeth, as we know, in the last couple of years, uh, they've taken a very hard left turn. In the last couple of months, especially because they've had allegations against them of racism and misogyny and all this other stuff. Now they're going all in on wokeness. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just thought it was funny when you said left turn. I just thought that was, that was clever. I, I, I was meant proud. it I was, that way. I was, I was simultaneously proud of you yet amused. Um, you know, it's just insane. Like, if you're going to sit there and complain about something like Hollywood casting white people, then you take a job when you could have said to Rooster Teeth, you know what? I'm really, really for diversity and I really think we need more uh, representation. Why don't you go pick a channel with somebody who's not, you know, me because I'm white? That hardly ever happens. Like Brie ever. Larson, we need more diversity. But I didn't see her saying, me "Why don't first. you? Why don't you cast Monica Rambeau instead?" Yeah, me first after. Um, so you I first just thought that was me. funny when I read that comment. My first thought was, "Wait a minute, you didn't say you know you're white, and they put you over Rooster Teeth, and that's fine." So anyway, whatever. So the Rooster Teeth's making all these choices. I know there's this one female gaming channel. Of course, it's a female gaming channel. Um, and I think there's like one woman who looks like she might be Hispanic, one woman who's definitely, you know, black, and then there's two white women. So let's, let's talk about this. So this is the, uh, the post on the Rooster Teeth form. I'm just, I'm trying to wrap my head around the thought process. Yeah. Because they're also making a big uh, note of saying, hey, they have new apps coming. This sounds to me like they're trying to show Warner that they're going to recoup their numbers because their numbers are terrible. 
Rooster Teeth's numbers are are not good now. Especially yeah, comparatively with speaking, to the amount of uh, you know subscribers they allegedly have, and to you know what the numbers used to be, it's not it's not good. Right, so they're going to be adding to roosterteeth.com. They've got a couple of podcasts, Castle Super Beast, which I've heard is actually pretty good, uh, Cult Podcast, then of course we have Beyond the Trailer, which is Grace Randolph, um, and we have you know What's Good Games. Uh, let's see, I've got them pulled up. They've got 34,000 subs. Yeah, it's funny, all the, a lot of these channels, not all of them, but a lot of them have less than like we do. Yeah, they're not going to invite us. You know they're not going oh, to invite us. I don't want them to invite us. I would I'm never saying, join I think it's Rooster funny. Team. Sorry. I mean, you think they go for bigger, if they need to, if they need to do something, you think they try to find bigger fish is what I'm saying. I mean, Grace Randolph's probably the biggest fish they have going for them with this with this influx of people. But it seems like they're trying to use women now as like, I don't know if it's like a shield, as a shield or, you know, look, we're okay. We're, we're, we're not all just, you know, men who, who might be problematic. We're a bunch of women. You know, there were girls before. Uh, here they're talking about AOC. Um, guys, I'm going to give you some friendly advice. Don't give any of these gentlemen your cell phone numbers. Just saying. Oh, now see, not Just everybody's saying. guilty, though. No, I know. But uh, anyway, yeah, the views really aren't. Oh, they there. aren't. They're not really Oh, wait, there. they have that many subs and that's all the views they get? Yeah, like a 1,000 a that's day. That's bad. 3, okay, sorry. Maybe that's good for them. I don't uh, know. 251,000 subs is another one. Easy Allies. Now, those are former, I believe, former Rooster Teeth people. So they just hired their people back. Yeah, uh, we're grateful to have the team partner with us and are happy to finally offer you their content. Uh, they're old friends, colleagues, and collaborators. Their mix of gaming and comedy feels very Rooster Teeth. Checking out their videos for first time, I think you'll agree. Their numbers are not... For 251,000 subs? Holy hell. Okay. Uh, what what are they thinking? I don't I don't I, I'm, I'm trying to understand. I, I, I don't know. I, it, all I'm coming up with was because the numbers are low and it's not really bringing much to the table. All I'm coming up with is they're trying to find a lot of channels that have women in it so they can you know use them as a shield. The other thought I have is they're trying you know to bring people back they used to have on there that might be popular before that they got rid of or they left for whatever reason to try to be like look look we're bringing our old friends back. I, I don't know what they're trying to do. They're trying to like throw spaghetti against the wall. Yes. Like a scatter shot. This one does gaming and this one does pop culture. This one does whatever. We'll see which one sticks. None of it is going to stick because Rooster Teeth was a core group of people originally. They had a certain slant. They were an internet thing. And, you know, then they became corporate and then it all just fell apart. I mean, that's the, beyond the scandals. I'm not even talking about, let's not even talk about all the freaking. Yeah, pretend that didn't even happen. Pretend that didn't happen. Just beyond that. You had that core team of guys making the content, and then they brought some other people into it. And as soon as corporate America got its talons in the rooster teeth, it changed. It's, it's not going to be ever again what it was. It, it can't be because no. that that particular culture, that humor, that all that that can't exist in corporate America. So going corporate is not. Yeah, that's the, the biggest the biggest problem that Rooster Teeth has had. I think is you know going corporate and 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 um and some of the toxicity. Um, and people are like, you're just being toxic. No, I mean I'm seeing it firsthand. How dare you criticize our our favorite people with facts? <laughs> you terrible people. How dare you? How I'm like, dare you? This, and we had a lot of people that, that, that used to be part of the restricted community come out and be like, this is why we left. These people here that are, are like trying to creep on you. These are why we left because it, it's just, they're just, it's so bad over there. Now, of course, that's not everyone. I'm sure there were a lot of really great people over there that did nothing wrong and have not been dicks in any way, shape or form. But show you know, them in any way, yeah, shape and form. But that's not yes. the people that get the most attention. No. Um, that's not what the media picks up on. And we only cover what's actually out there. We don't actually make it up. Up, contrary to what some people think, um, we're, at, we're reading from real articles. Yeah. But what were the other people you were still reading down at? Um, uh, Recreo. Yeah, uh, and I looked at the numbers of them earlier, and um, they're they weren't that great either. Tabletop RPG. So they're they got seventy thousand subs, which is respectable. You know, they get um, not a whole lot of views though. So I um I, I'm trying I'm trying to figure out what the but at least they do something that's recre that's kind of creative. Yeah, I, I appreciate I mean, that. This does feel. I mean, I will say that this kind of feels like old school yeah. rooster teeth. Of the choices, this one makes the most sense. This to me. makes the most sense. Um, but I mean, they've only been around since May too, so they're actually for for only being around since May. They're, they're doing, doing pretty, pretty good. good. That one makes sense. They're that one that one makes sense to me. Um, I can see that. But the other ones, I'm not too. I mean, especially Grace Randolph. I don't get that one at all. I I don't know. I mean, like I said, this kind of feels to me like we have an aging internet 
community trying to, to kind of replenish the stock after so many people have left. And, I don't know. But they don't want to actually put them on payroll. So, so just they're kind partners, of, aren't they? They aren't actually. They're partners, but their content, I guess, is going to be on the Rooster Teeth website, as I understand it. But if they can do it on their own, why do they need, you know, Rooster Teeth to... I don't. I don't know. I don't. It just doesn't make it's sense. It's a friends of Rooster Teeth. I think this is. I, I don't know. I think they're just trying to get more content on the site because we know. I think it's it's too little, too late. But that's what you're sharing. You're sharing your content. You're sharing your revenue. You're sharing all that. Why? Why? If I, you don't need them, you haven't needed them. Why? I don't get it. I think a lot of people are thinking it's going to boost them. I think it's what they're thinking, but it's not. And this kind of goes along with you know. And again, this is not throwing shade at, at Keen Spot when we were part of Keen Spot. But well, we there's fa- reasons to throw shit at Keen well, Spot, but yeah. we're not doing that in this video. No, no, no. But but basically, we were our comic at that point in time was one of the bigger draws on the platform, and they were effectively you know trying to build up the rest of the platform off of our. It wasn't just us. It was, you know, other people were uh, on there. Two Kinds is on two there, Two Kinds is on there and yeah. stuff, too. And they were the ones, like, you know, bringing in all the views. Um, but I'll, just, I'll be honest. The revenue share that we got was nowhere near the amount it should have been. Oh, hell no. Yeah. And we just had kind of had to take their, their word for it, you know. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they were nice and just everything. Why we I just, just It was like, yeah, we there's something going on here. But, yeah, it just there was really no benefit. It was – and this happens a lot of times. You get people try to get roped into, like, collectives or – we see it with, with comics, you know, web comics back in the day, especially. It was like, hey, let's form a web comic collective. We got one or two, like, really, really big comics – and a bunch of comics that nobody's ever heard of, but we're hoping those big comics will bring the audience to our our other comics. Right. And a lot of times it it doesn't really work that way. It winds up becoming a uh, uh, you know an une- unequal yoking, I mm-hmm. guess, where you've got the people there pulling the numbers, pulling their own weight, pull, trying to pull everybody else up. And uh, you know, at that point, I'm like, just focus on building your own thing. And yeah, I, that's I, I just don't understand the the value here. I guess is what I'm saying. I mean, initially you might get a boost, but in the long run, I don't know. I don't no, it just seems weird. Uh, whatever, they can do what they're I, gonna do. I don't know if they do this often, but the fact that they're they're going out there actively trying to find and recruit other people into like the Rooster Chief Collective, to me, feels like they're gonna have they have to go to Warner Brothers at Warner Media, sorry, and be like, you know, what have you done lately? Oh, we're trying to we're trying to cultivate new voices. We're trying to signal boost. I think they're trying to diversify. Yeah. That's what I think they're trying to do. I think they're trying to diversify, to try to have, you know, get more uh, shields, for lack of a better term, in there. <laughs> yeah, right. And, Let's get a bunch of um, women. That yeah, we can, yeah. I think they're trying yeah. to diversify what they were putting out there. And then they're saying, oh, look, we're diverse. We're, 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 we're doing what we can. We're, we're taking this opportunity to make sure we go out there and, and try to get, uh, you know, different kinds of voices in here, which is not a bad idea. It's not a bad thing. It's just that some of the choices are, I'm like, why? You know, Grace Randolph mostly. I'm like, why? I I don't know, but this explains all the the erratic uh, tweets. I think because she's trying to get already get in with Rooster Teeth because they've again taken that hard left turn. White actors are bad unless it's me. Yeah, pretty much. So I don't know, guys. I I think we're and I'm standing by what I said before. Be, regardless of the scandals. Uh, that Rooster Teeth is is cooked here. Th- these are Rooster Teeth's numbers. Holy shit. Oh, well, that's because they no, that's purge because they content. purge content. Yes. This is why they're now they They're have gonna mul- be fair. That's purging content. Multiple channels. They've gotten less views this month than we have, by the way. Wait, they, negative thirty thousand is up two hundred percent? For, they have negative 30,000 subscribers for the last 30 days, but that's up 200%. So that means that they've been losing. Well, look, here are their subs. Uh, their video views are dropping off a cliff. This is Rooster Teeth's main channel. Um, negative 20,000 subs, negative 20, negative 10. Yeah, the, negative subs, are, the subs are leaving, Holy but hell. they're purging content, which is why I think you're seeing the views go down. Okay, so when did they start losing subs? Because they were positive. They went down 4,000 here. I think this was probably one of their scandals or somebody so, left. Yeah. And you can always time the, wow. the drop-offs. And then we're going, okay, uh, then we got another negative 3,000, negative 10,000, negative 4, negative 6, negative 13, negative 10, negative 30,000 subs. So basically, staying at zero subscribers for Rooster Teeth, look at all the times it dips under zero. Like, these are all people freaking leaving Rooster Teeth. And they're only pulling in, for the size of the channel and the amount of 9.41 million subs, if it's legit. Um, They were a big deal back in the day, so it it could be. But they're only pulling in, you know, three, four hundred thousand views. There are independent YouTubers that pull in way more than that. 
and they're purging content. So that's their their main channel. So here we go to Achievement Hunter, which again is you know mired in controversy. Uh, they're losing people. So how many how many have they been losing people? Well, here you can see right here. Flatline for months. And then here's when the controversy happened. Poof, they lost 10,000. But just in general, their views, the decline. Rooster Teeth is declining, guys. It doesn't matter. That's why they're doing this. Yeah, they're... Oh, like, but how dare you? It's, it's all a lie. You're just making it up with facts. Making it up with facts. Look at this. All their channels. I'm, I'm, I'm actually floored. Look at this. It went from just two years ago. Well, okay, so three years ago. Getting like 50 million views a month. To now they're down to like 6 million, 10 million for a channel with 9 million subs. That's yeah. pathetic. Something. That, that, so I can understand why they're trying to do something because <sighs> it, they're hemorrhaging. So I, I can see I can see why they're trying to do this. I just don't understand the choices that were made. I mean, a couple of them make sense. Like the one part, the group of people that were there before, they're bringing it back, makes sense. The anim the animation that makes, makes sense. sense. Even the gaming group, okay, I can get that. It makes sense because they do a lot of gaming videos and, and they're on Twitch and stuff. Even they're not that great big on Twitch or anything. Okay, it makes sense. I get it. Um, but then Grace Randolph, I'm like, I don't understand. Hey, well, here's the thing about that though, because at this point, if she's working with four Warner Brothers, She's basically on a movie studio's payroll, and she's a movie reviewer. And she's well, she's a verified critic on Rotten Tomatoes. Let's be honest here. Most of them are in some way, or you know, other whether it be access or you know, news stories or whatever, are, are getting you know something for their their reviews. Um, just that they're just being blatant about it. Um, Funhouse again. Here's another one dropped off a freaking cliff. I mean, I, they're not. But doing they're bringing, their views aren't. Well, no, they're not. No, they dropped a bunch. Well, they purged. This is probably what they're yeah, purged. Yeah, well, you see that, guys. That's just, cause they, that's just because they purged a bunch of videos. That's not because, you know, that's just mostly because like they went through and got rid of a bunch. Th these are probably all that's of probably Adam why. Kovic's if you're videos. you're going to be honest, that's why. That's Kovic's videos, and then Achievement Hunter, they're probably getting rid of all the, the Ryan Haywood videos, I think. Well, apparently not yet. So, so I, anyway, I don't know, guys. It's look. Oh, look, negative twenty thousand subscribers in the last thirty days makes it exactly the same as it's been for the last, you know, for a while. They're they're dying. They're dying. Regardless of of the scandals, they're dying. Yeah. So they have. To, I guess that's why they're doing it. They have to do something. Yeah. I guess they're figuring that's a good idea to try. I don't know if I agree, but you know, hey. All right. So whatever works. I don't know. I would never join them uh, at this point. Well, I don't think they're ever asking. <laughs> I don't think Rooster Teeth is ever going to ask. Well, because it sounds like you're upset that they're not asking. I don't really do it. No, I'm just saying, if, if I were presented with the opportunity, given given their numbers, given all the scandals, given all the people they're leaving, would I join Rooster Teeth? Hell no. I wouldn't want to be associated. I wouldn't want to be. And look, and it's not because I know there are a lot of people there that aren't involved in this ship, but it's just like it, it's a sinking ship. You know, it's a sinking ship. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no, there There would be zero benefit to us joining them. So, I don't know. They didn't ask, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're just really obsessed with this. No, I just, I don't understand why somebody would. Okay. All right, so I'm going to wrap this one up. All right. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.